Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When we talk about these things, we're looking for what can we do to be ourselves. When a man makes a choice on how to become himself, it's amazing how many things in his life start to align. His entire world of life balance starts to come into full balance, meaning he produces a life, he produces a family, he produces a business, he produces a network, he produces service to the community. That is what people do when they live in life balance. Liars of a family, liars of a network, liars of a community think that they're in balance. They're not, because they're too busy interfering with people's life and livelihood. They're too busy gossiping about things they should not. They're too busy interfering with people's property, damaging them, vandalizing them, and ruining them for other people's lives. The liars of a foreign community do not belong here. We have said this from the beginning of our nation, that our nation is one nation indivisible under God, but we are allowing people from foreign countries to come here, and they have no God. They presume they are gods. They walk in our communities and insult our elderly. They walk right on top of us during a time of COVID when the polite society says six feet apart. They lie to themselves and they take over personalities. In other words, a person of a particular culture doesn't want to be associated immediately with that culture. He wants to hide within our culture so he'll change the way he looks, he'll change his hairstyle, he'll change his clothing to look like something else. What I see at the university level, which is way oversaturated with people from the Middle East, is that we have young men trying to look black. We have other men trying to look native Indian. We have other men of them trying to appear Mexican. And we have other people playing into white women's worlds and ruining them with all sorts of things. I can't describe more than I've seen as a reporter. I can't do more than I can say as an observer. But what I'm telling you is that everyone has an opinion and we all have the right to render one. But when you muck around with someone's life, when you interfere with their life, when you vandalize their personal property, when you steal their documents, when you become them in some way through identity theft and trying to clean something up that you weren't asked to clean up, you fucked your life in identity theft and fraud. And you deserve to go to prison that they do this for. But here's what I know. Law enforcement doesn't really do their job. What they do is abuse. I experienced that abuse in a jail cell. I experienced someone turning me off at night with whatever they put in food and tying my beard in a knot. I experienced them shaving my body, even my pubes, and it wasn't their fucking right. So when you see me, don't you pretend to know me. And don't you pretend to think that I'm going to help one fucking police officer find one fucking thing. I might help the military discover the assholes of the force, and I might help the military discover the people who commit cybercrime, because those little shits will just keep upping the ante. They'll keep upping their stalking, they'll keep upping their mobbing, and eventually they'll blow up a bomb. We don't need that in America. America has a heritage and a history that is honorable from war. And our wars taught us things. Our wars gave us education. Our wars taught us about the world and other people worlds away. But at the same time, we became strong as a nation. So while the impoverished nations all want to flock here, they've done nothing in their countries to improve their lives. I can't say that for sure, but here's the deal. They still all want to come here. So what that means is that they've totally abated their own country. They totally have left and, what's the word, given up on their own nation. Instead of working their asses off like we have, to keep people loved and safe in a land of peace and grace.